Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about DOT. So on the DOT chart, we can see that the market is still moving within the wedge pattern. You see that better if we zoom out a little bit and go to the four hour time frame. Um, this can still be considered a descending wedge in this wave two correction, which is, um, yeah, ideally either complete or maybe complete after one more low. Either way, we should be very close to a low or the bull market is over for DOT because this is literally like the last opportunity for DOT to turn around. But I'm, um, again, I, I tried to explain it really clearly in the last few videos. We have a possible bullish scenario here. You know that if you've been following this scenario, uh, this channel, we have a five wave move up that indicates potential bullishness that will need to be confirmed by um, a higher low in the wave two correction, which is unfolding now. And then from there, ideally we get a third wave rally to the upside. Now, this third wave should really take us into the 20 to $30 region. But first of all, we need to form a low here. Now, just a few green candles don't confirm a low. What would be helpful and constructive would be a break out of the upper boundary line of this um, descending wedge of this channel, basically to really kickstart this third wave. And if we go to the smaller time frame, quick reminder before we do that, the $4.60 level is still the main support. Yeah, this is really the level that shouldn't be broken. If the $4.60 level breaks, the while the bullish thesis isn't going to be invalidated, it will become very, very questionable. It's just the, the main, you know, it's just the main support, obviously, okay? Below that level, it's going to be difficult for a wave two. I mean, it's again, it's not invalid. The invalidation point is the $3.55 level, which is here, which is here the October low. Now that's the invalidation point. There is absolutely no wiggle room left if we go down to that level. But um, below 460, there's a bit of space, but it's like no man's land. Okay, so let's go to the one hour chart. Um, here we are pretty much at the end of this correction, ideally. We can always make the case for one more low, but I can already identify a possible five wave advance from that Friday low. A lot of coins could have bottomed, but these first five waves are too small to be reliable. And on the Bitcoin chart, it was Bitcoin is leading to a degree, right? Um, Bitcoin is not giving me very, very strong bottoming signals. There are some, but not very strong ones yet. So again, it's worth being being skeptical. And the dot chart could confirm a lasting low if, if we form these five waves up. Now, I know that this last smaller degree fifth wave here didn't happen on other exchanges. It happened on the Binance chart, not on other exchanges. Um, it doesn't matter so much if it happened or not. I mean, this here gives us a pretty clear five wave move. Again, on that scale, it's unreliable, however, and whether it happened or not isn't so important because this move up is too small anyway to confirm a low. So we need that next larger five wave pattern. That means we have to watch closely support. We already triggered the support area today. It's between 587 and 525. As long as the 525 level isn't broken and the price doesn't sustain below it, we can watch for a third wave rally. Doesn't mean it has to happen, but I'm going to watch for it. And then we want to see all five waves probably into the eight to nine dollar region. That needs to happen for me to, let's say, confirm that low is in. But if we get a break out of this trend line, that would already be an early indication. So those are the things I'm watching for. If another low forms, well, the next support is 460. That's my update about DOT. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.